stands for British Sign Language. Now before we start, what we're going to do is we're going to roll up our sleeves. Now this is because when you're deaf, you can't hear anything, so you won't learn how to speak. So you have to communicate through signs that you make with your hands. And to that we're going to need to see our hands really clearly. So today we're going to be learning the alphabet. And what we're going to do is I'll go through it all and then I'll show you how you would see your hands so you can see how you would do the alphabet instead of trying to mirror what I'm doing. Okay, so we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So now I'm going to show you that, how you would see it. Okay, so you see your hands like this out in front of you. Now to do A, we're going to take our left hand, and remember how you do that? It's the L for left. So we're going to take our left hand, and we're going to look at our thumb. And we're going to get our pointing finger, and we're going to put it on your thumb while all the other fingers are spread out. And that's A. Now we're on to B, and we're going to make it like binoculars. And it's B for binoculars, so that's how you do B. Then for C, you're going to take your right hand, and it looks like a backwards C to you, but for everyone else, it'll look like a real C. Then to do D, we're going to get our left pointing finger, and then we're just going to put it on top, so then it looks like a D to you. Then for E, we're going to get our left hand again, and we're going to get our pointing finger this time, and then we're going to make our pointing fingers touch while all of the other ones fingers are spread out. Then we're on to F and to do that we're going to put our hands like this. So we've got our pointing finger and our middle finger and we're going to turn them over and put our right hand over our left hand like this. And that's F. And then for G you're going to make two fists and then put your right hand over your left hand again. That's G. And we're on to H and you're going to lay your palm really flat and then you're going to take your right hand and slide it across. Then for I, we're going to get our middle finger of the left hand and we're going to get our pointing finger on the right and we're going to meet and then while well, your other fingers are still spread out. Then for J, what we're going to do is we're, we would show it to the other person, our palm, but what I'm going to do is I'll show it here. So we're still on I and what we do is we write a big letter J on our hands. So you go from your middle finger to your thumb and you would do this the other way around so other people can see it. Okay, now we're on to K and we're going to get our left hand's pointing finger and we're going to get our right hand's pointing finger and we're going to curl up this pointing finger, our right hand's pointing finger and then put it on the left hand like this so it looks like a kicking K. Then we're going to get L and we're going to lay our left hand flat again and we're going to put our pointing finger down on it and that's L. Then for M we're going to put our middle finger, our pointing finger and the finger no one really knows the name of. Um, <laughs> we're going to put all of those on. Then for N we're just going to do our pointing and our middle finger. Then for O it's our ring finger, that's it. We're going to take our ring finger and we're going to get our pointing finger and we're going to do the same. And we're going to make them meet while the other ones are all stretched out. Then for P, we're going to take our pointing finger again on our left hand. But this time we're going to make it look like we're getting a pinch of salt. And we're just going to pop those on there. So if you open it wide, it looks a bit like a P. But we're going to close it shut and that's how you do P. Then for Q, you make a kind of okay sign with your left hand and you get your right pointing finger and put it through. You don't want it to go all the way through, just enough for like the first bend of your finger. 
Then for R, we're going to lay our left hand flat again. We're going to get our right pointing finger and make it look like a little backwards R. And then we're going to lay it on top. And that's R. Then for S, we're going to take our pinky fingers. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our right one and lay it on top. And they're going to link fingers. So you get your right finger and you put it on top of your left pinky. And then you link them up. So that's S. Now T, you're going to get your thumb and it's going to be straight, but this time it's going to be upwards. Then you get your pointing finger and you point on the side here. So you touch your side of your hand here. And that's T. U is your pinky finger and your middle finger touching while all the others are stretched out. Then V, so we're going to make a kind of peace sign and we're going to put it onto our hands and it makes a V. And then we're going to do W, which is what we're going to do is we're going to interlock our fingers. So we're going to slide our right hand through the holes in our left hands. And that's W. Then X, we're going to take our two pointing fingers and make an X. Then Y, we're going to put our hands like this on our left hand. So all of these fingers are together, but the thumb is really wide from it. And you're going to get your pointing finger and put it here so it looks like a capital Y. Then for Z, we're going to put our left hand upright again. And we're going to make a, this shape with our right hand. And we're going to put it on top. And that makes Z. Now I'm going to show you a few tips. So some people get confused on which vowel is which and which... Um, like hand to point up with your right finger and a little tip for that is you count your vowels in order on your right hand on your left hand and that's what number they are so it's a e i o u so you touch your thumb for a your pointing finger for e your middle finger for i your ring finger for o and your pinky finger for u and another one people get stuck on quite a lot is how many um, fingers to put on for L, M and N. And because it's not in order of L, M, N, it's often quite difficult. But what we found is you do how many times the letter touches the ground. So for L, it touches the ground once. For M, it touches the ground three times and for N it touches the ground twice and that's really helpful for some people to learn which number of fingers to put down. So that's been our lesson of BSL and the alphabet is really important in sign language because if you've forgotten a sign for a word or you don't know a sign what you can do is you can spell it out. And this also works for spelling out your names because names don't really have signs. So you spell them out. So how about you watch through this video and you try and spell out your own name. So I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.